and look so we are quite closely and now let's go over by a few minutes just to squeeze a few questions try to keep them short gentlemen at the front <coughs> uh, okay, Vice Chair Bell, you're sitting here I'm curious if any of you on the panel, or in fact those of you in the room, are nervous about the underlying metaphors we've been using today, because in effect we're sliding into vocabulary that gets us nowhere fast. We're, look, we're looking at things like, I think you used the phrase, um, green growth, for example. It's, uh, it's now coming into the vocabulary of sustainable growth, as if that's possible, that kind of oxymoron, or nuclear safety. Um, you know, probably not, or business ethics, or, you know, <laughs> or for that matter, military intelligence. I mean, we, we, we seem to accept terminology that is absolutely incoherent, and green consumerism is not going to get us there. Why? Well, because it's to the consumerism that's driving the problem. Now, whether or not we get more efficient at it is very amply demonstrated by Dan. I mean, you can't get a better person at getting better delivery of services, bang for the buck, whatever you want to use. But at some point, he's not in inviting people to self-impose self-restraint. He's delivering more energy to them, more cheaply. And in a culture that's dominated by consumerism, all that's going to do is hasten and make more efficient extinction. Hasten and make more efficient extinction. All our wizards <laughs> are involved in trying to make extinction more efficient. Not in trying to avoid it. It's the prophets who are saying, listen, down that route there's no future. It's people like, in effect, the humanities that have made this very clear. In response, the Rhodes Scholar from South Africa came as a member of the panel to respond to the statement. Kumi Naidu. But I didn't have a chance to answer that last question. But I, I do want to say that, folks, if there's one question I appeal to you that you take away from today's session, take away that question. Because that question is actually, in a very honest way, posing the contradiction that we find ourselves. And when I said our leaders are in denial and we suffer from cognitive dissonance, they're not willing to address this question. Because the bottom line is, if we are to do it, not to the additional two, mil two million people that will be born in the next coming decades, but just to the seven million people that live on this planet, what all of us in this room take for granted, right, in terms of material consumption, According to our friends at WWF, we would need as much as three to eight more planets. Right? Right? So, so just think about that, right? 